Hey, I'm Conrad Stoll. Welcome back to Ask a Dev. Today's question comes from Grant, and he asks, should I update my existing Apple Watch app to watchOS 3 or build a new one? Thanks for the question, Grant. First of all, you'll definitely want to have an app on watchOS 3. Third-party apps will be much faster than before, and if your app is simple and saves time, it's more likely that people will use it. If your app doesn't already have a complication, then you should add one. Complications will become the primary way that users launch apps on the watch. So even if the complication is just a launcher, you'll want to have one. Users can configure multiple watch faces and swipe between them, and Apple is highlighting complications with the new watch face gallery on the iPhone. Having a complication will make it more likely that people will use your app, that new users will discover it, and that Apple will feature it. You'll also want to make sure your app is simple and designed around very fast interactions. Apple is advising developers to keep interaction time on the watch under two seconds. Consider removing features buried in force touch menus and drill down screens. The best watchOS 3 apps will be designed around one feature. If you have an existing app, think about what people already use it for and double down on making that feature even better. Keeping your app up to date is a big part of making your app feel really fast. You'll want to make sure you take advantage of improvements made to watch connectivity that allow you to refresh what you're displaying in the dock or complication based on what you know about the user. For instance, if a user favorites a certain sporting event, schedule most of your updates to occur around the time of that event to make sure your app is up to date when the user needs it most. Finally, make sure your watch app feels fast. Apple has done a lot of work to make the rest of watchOS feel snappy, and if our apps are slow, we can no longer assume that's just the way it is on the watch. Keep your app feeling fast by minimizing navigation. Take advantage of the vertically paginated interface to organize content that might have been on different screens before. Minimize features and focus on the most important reasons why someone would use your watch app. And keep your app up to date so a user doesn't have to wait for content to refresh when they glance at your app. If you already have an app on watchOS 2, then you should have a head start. Most of the WatchKit frameworks are the same as watchOS 2. Apple has also added a ton of new tools to WatchKit, such as SpriteKit, that enable an even richer experience on the watch. But when you're deciding what to do for watchOS 3, remember to keep your app simple and fast. Don't add features just because you can. And if you already have an app, consider trimming it down to focus on the essentials. Users will be excited about third-party apps on watchOS 3, and will appreciate that your app is fast and easy to use. That's it for this week. Thanks for watching, and tweet your questions to hashtag askadev or leave them in the comments.